And yep. Hey guys, John P from Geek Beat. Uh, you know, we're about to take off for Japan for almost two weeks. So we've got a lot of stuff we're going to be seeing and we're going to be trying to capture it and share it with you while we're on the road. Uh, so I figured I'd show you the kind of gear that Callie and I are taking with us because we're basically having to pack it all in and pack it all out. Uh, so first thing that we're taking is the Galaxy camera, which you can't see because we're filming with it. And we do that because we can shoot our, our vlogs and stuff real quick and upload right out of the camera. So we love that. Uh, but beyond the Galaxy camera, let me show you what else we've got. We've got a bunch of junk here on the table. Imagine, first of all, everything going into backpacks. So Callie and I will each be carrying our Think Tank shapeshifter bags. You guys have seen us talk about these many times before. Uh, the reason we'll take these because A, they're big and they have all these padded compartments on the inside. So we'll be able to put all this junk in them. So we have identical ones. We'll be taking those. Now, what kind of junk we'll be taking with us? Well, primarily, we're going to be taking a big Edelkrone um, rig to shoot with. So you can see this has the Canon 5D Mark III mounted on it. It's also got a Marshall 5 or 7 inch or something monitor here. Uh, so I can do preview. It has a built in focus ring. So if I move my thumb down here, you can see it's focusing up there. That, that's, a, that's a really easy way for me to focus um, when I'm shooting. And then we've got a little uh, light mounted on the top. And then you'll also notice we've got our wireless microphone system here. So we use a Sen Sennheiser mic that plugs in. Um, and then we'll have the rest of the microphone kit here. So you guys have seen our little You've seen our little digital mic flags. We keep that in here. I got to remember to charge these. Uh, and then we've got a handheld microphone so that we can, you know, talk and whatever while we're, if we're not wearing a, a lavalier on our shirt. So we've got the microphone kit. We're also going to take the Big Daddy 1D Mark IV for photography, pure photography, because the 5D takes great pictures but it takes them relatively slow. This, this shoots at 10 frames per second. So we're going to be doing so much stuff that I'm just going to hold down the trigger and, you know, hopefully we get lucky with some good shots. I'll, I'll be showing them to you guys as we go along. Of course, we have to also, because we're taking two different cameras, we got to take all these extra batteries and chargers. Um, so those take up a little bit of room. We're speaking of batteries. We're going to be taking the big hyper juice, battery with us. This is the MBP2100. Um, it's the one with the little light up screen here on the front if I hold the button down long enough. Um, this battery is big enough that it will double or triple the life of our MacBook Airs while we're using them. And then we're also going to take some uh, hyper juice or sorry some just mobile batteries but this is a small version. We haven't unboxed the big ones yet. We're going to do that later on the show today. So we're going to take some of those. We have to be able to hear what we're shooting. And so we're going to be taking, oh God, I'm so excited about this. I love, love, love this. These headphones fold right up. What's the model number on these headphones? Anybody remember? I'll give you guys the model later. They're V Modas. I think they're called like the V100 or something or M100. M100. So these these sound amazing. They fit. They're really comfortable. And the fact that I can fold them up into this tiny tiny little thing, uh, that's that's what we need. So headphones. We are going to take some some uh, GoPros with us. Now these are the Hero Threes. Uh, they will shoot up to 4K video. So we're going to mount these on stuff. We're going to take a variety of little mounts for them. We will also be taking a little Logitech um, HD camera, USB camera, in case we want to do some video conferencing or a hangout or something like that. You'll notice the cool thing about this is it's got a mount on the bottom so you can put a tripod a tripod mount on it so we can use our tripod and set this up out a little way from the from the computer you know so that'll be good um, this one is interesting I've been dying to try this we got this weeks ago but I haven't been to a hotel yet this is 
a pocket router that allows you to tie into the uh, internet connectivity at a hotel, but instead of just having a single um, device connected to it, which a lot of hotels make you do, this will let you cheat and hook up all your devices to one paid connection. We're also going to take the Cam Ranger. I did a video about this earlier, and the Cam Ranger in conjunction with the iPad Mini, I will use this for some still photography when we've got the cameras mounted on tripods and I want to remotely control them and make sure I'm getting the pictures just right. Now, as we're taking all these photos, we're going to have to be storing them on things. So we're going to, sh we shoot on these SanDisk Extreme Pro cards mainly. They, they record at 95 megabytes a second. These are the fastest SD cards and they're the most expensive too, but they're worth it. Um, and then we'll transfer, of course, onto the Drobo. Uh, I'll be taking this Drobo Mini with me. That has four one terabyte drives in it. They're all rated for protection. As a backup to that, we will also be taking this little um, Seagate one terabyte drive, which has a, an adapter on it that is a firewire, um, not firewire, uh, what's it called? Thunder, Thunderbolt adapter. So this is in essence a little portable one terabyte Thunderbolt drive. So that's just a, a backup. We'll take our Leatherman with us because you never know when you might need to do cut something up. I'm also going to take this. This is brand new. Ken, our engineer, has been playing with this. It's awesome. This is the Blackmagic Ultra Studio Mini Recorder. Now, what it does is it's got a FireWire output on one end. It's got HDMI on the other. And I'm actually going to use this to do some iPad and uh, Android app reviews. We'll hook this up into the laptop and I'll be able to do screen recordings so I can share with you guys some of my favorite apps as I try them out. So we're going to take that on the road with us. Uh, we're, we're about done with all this up here. We've, we are also taking our snacks. We got lots of beef jerky. In fact, the sweet and hot beef jerky from Walmart is the best beef jerky I've ever found. I love it. And of course, the Monster Trail Mix from Target. If you have never tried this stuff, you haven't lived. All right, a couple other things down here. First of all, we gotta have a tripod. So this time we're taking, uh, we're gonna take the, this Manfrotto tripod, which I, I don't know if I ever shared this little hack with you guys. This is the 190 CX Pro. It's a carbon fiber tripod. It's a good size and it's got a big 498 RC2 ball head on it. Um, but if you look over here, this is this padding that you see on these two uh, legs. I did that because I leave my camera up here and I walk like this. Now, before I put that padding, it used to hurt. It would, it would leave marks on my shoulder. This padding is actually foam insulation. I bought it at like Walmart for three bucks covered with black duct tape, <laughs> okay? So that's how you can carry your uh, tripod up your, over your shoulder. It's like $3 for this, get the size that is the same as this, and this is usually used for pipe insulation. We're also gonna take this Edelkrone slider. This thing I love because it's so tiny, yet when we mount it on that um, tripod right there, Wow, I've got it really locked down here. Hang on. There we go. <clears throat> when we mount it on the tripod, imagine my hand being the tripod, um, we will be able to have the camera slide and do video slider shots. And it's actually two foot of sliding motion in a one foot package that we can stick in a bag and carry with us. So that's cool. We're also going to take this with us. This is brand new. We just unboxed it last week. This is the Cinemate um, Cinemoco. So it's, we'll mount a camera up here and this rolls around and this is a motorized controller. So it will do motorized panning shots and stuff like that. So we're gonna give that a try. 
Um, now, the last thing that I wanted to take, but I actually don't think we're going to now because we've got all this other stuff to carry. I was going to, I'm, I'm still on the fence. I don't know, guys. What do you think? Should I take it? Should I not take it? I have to haul this DJI Phantom across the universe in this case. So I bought a, um, a Pelican case, and as you can see, I've customized it. There's junk in there at the moment. But I have to take the uh, rotors off, and this mounts securely down in here. And then I've got a place for the controller and batteries and chargers and extra, all this stuff. Um, but the problem is that's one whole extra piece of luggage to carry. I'm not sure if I should do it. What do you think? Is it worth it? We're going to Okinawa. We're going to Tokyo. I don't know. Give me your feedback. Let me know. That is the junk we're carrying in addition to our clothes and other stuff. So, hope you guys enjoyed that little walkthrough. We will see you later. Give me some feedback. Let me know what you're thinking. And have a great day.